Hey guys, it's Amanda and welcome back to my channel. So this video, as you can see as the title, as you, that doesn't even, that's not even English, but as you see the title is about LGBT people in movies and I was really skeptical, skeptical about making this video only due to the fact that I know it's a hard topic and it's a big topic that some people may agree with what I'm saying and some people may disagree with what I'm saying and I was really skeptical for that reason but at the end of the day I was like this is my channel I'm gonna talk whatever I'm gonna talk about whatever I want to talk about if you don't like it that's too bad if you like it that's great I just want to get my opinions and my thoughts out there so this is why I'm making this video so ever since I was a young kid and I'm sure many of you when you were young kids, you would always go to the movies or you would watch movies at home. And personally, in my view, when I would watch movies, a lot of them were about like love movies. Like if you look at High School Musical, if you look at Twilight, like all those movies were about love and falling in love. And the characters were always a white straight male and a white straight female. That's it, that's all, that's all you basically got. So if you picture a young kid that is 12 years old and she's roaming through life and she's thinking about the fact that she might like girls too and then you sit here in front of movie after movie after movie and all you freaking see is a white straight male and a white straight woman falling in love that's all you got and basically this has been pissing me off for such a long time and it's something that I hope will change in the future for the film industry. I hope they will change the people that they use in their videos, in their movies, whatever, because I don't see the problem with having a woman and a woman together in a movie, a man and a man together in a movie. It doesn't, it doesn't, I don't understand what the problem is. So basically, I think that if we keep using white straight males and white straight women in movies, where's the diversity in there? Like when you're a kid and you're trying to figure out what the hell you like, who the hell you like, who the hell you are, and when you go to the movies and all you see is the same shit over and over and over, it's like, it confuses you a bit. Personally, when I was like 12, 13, and all the movies I would watch were just literally a man and a woman falling in love, I'd be like, maybe if I do like girls, that's not a good thing. Maybe it's not supposed to be like that. That's why I never see it. Maybe I'm different. Maybe it's not good. Maybe I should just keep it to myself. And that's basically what I did until I realized that there was nothing wrong with that. And if you think there's something wrong with a woman and a woman being together or a man and a man being together, then like, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, peace. So I believe that queer romance movies should be more glorified and should be more out there and there should be more of them. Yeah, there's queer romance movies. There's actually quite a few, but do you ever hear about them? No. I bet you anything, you cannot name me one right now. Basically, that's what I thought. You don't know any. So a few queer romance movies that you should watch if you want to watch them are But I'm a Cheerleader, I Can't Think Straight, and Loving Annabelle. Those are the three queer romance movies that I watched and I absolutely loved. So if you want to watch them, I suggest you watch those. Basically, this video is literally all over the place. But a main reason why I believe personally that the that the movie industry does not make many queer romance movies is because they believe that these movies won't attract the general audience and they won't make money off of it which is totally totally wrong because the gay lesbian bisexual transgender rate is going up because it just is it's normal people like girls i like girls i like boys i like you know I just don't understand why the industry is not making more of these types of movies. They're making a lot of action movies, they're making a lot of romance movies, making a lot of documentaries, they're making a lot of horror movies, but where the hell is the queer romance movies? We don't know. They they stuck somewhere. I, I just don't get it. I really feel like they think that this will not attract the audience, but it will because it's a normal thing. It's people's everyday lives why wouldn't it why wouldn't it attract people i just i don't get it i just want to see more diversity in movies when it comes to the sexuality part i just don't believe that we should only have movies where there is a woman and a man falling in love all the time because i just don't think that 
you know, I don't even know how to explain it. I just believe that we should have more diversity in the sexuality aspect in movies because I think it's important and I think it's important for everyone to see that because when you see things on TV, when you see things on the big screen, it looks normal to you. From experience, when I walk outside and I happen to see two girls holding hands or two girls kissing, you always see that older person staring at them with this disgusted look on their face. And I literally want to go up to them and smack them, but you know what, you gotta stay calm. But it just literally disgusts me that like this whole not being a straight thing is still weird and different to people because it nothing nothing's wrong with it like I don't know I don't know I, I don't know my brain is like fed up so basically I'm gonna end this video because I have no idea what I'm saying anymore but I hope you got the fact and the message that I'm upset that there is not a lot of LGBTQ plus representation in the movie industry as of right now and there needs to be more queer romance films because one, I want to watch more, and two, they just need to have more. My voice just cracked. How beautiful. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below. And honestly, I want to hear your opinion about this whole situation. And I want to see if you agree with me that we deserve to have more queer romance movies because there ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing at all. So yeah, um, I hope to see you next time. And remember, live life, don't think twice. I'm out of here.